welcome back in today's video i am going to show you a student id card web portal in this portal your student can enter their username and password and press on the sign in and uh, they will get their student id card so let me show you the example so i just enter my username here and password here and click on this sign in so when i click on this sign in it's authenticating so, uh, so after sign in now you can able to see this is our student card so in this our student card you can see here uh, the membership number the student image and the name the class and mobile and valid until all the basic things which are available in the student id card is available so your student can easily view their id card and make a print of them so if they flip their card you can see here uh, the QR code is automatically generated and uh, uh, in our previous video we have introduced a QR code scanning feature so you can scan this QR code and mark the attendance so hope so you will like that previous QR code scanner video as well so this is your student's card ID card this web application is completely free uh, you can uh, watch the description in the description you will get the link of the source code so then you click on the link of the source code you will get this uh, web app code okay so you can see here when you press on this logout you have successfully been logged out from the web portal so now what we need to do for example if you have a and other student you can simply enter a and other username and uh, you just need to enter their password okay so when you enter the password you can see here now username uh, and password is created so we just log out and uh, we just come here and we just paste it here our username too and uh, our password here okay so when we click on this authenticating so it will authenticate you will see here invalid credentials okay why it's invalid credentials because we have nothing here so if i need to enter the zero now you will see when i enter this and uh, i just enter the username here and uh, again the password here i just paste it here and click on this sign -in. so when i click on this sign -in, it will says invalid credentials okay so how we, this will say the invalid credentials first of all you will need to go to your google sheet and go to your data section you will see here nothing are found with the member number zero okay so here's one found we need to create a member number two and we will use the same information for that particular user and uh, we just come here and add it to okay so now go to our login data and uh, we need to here add two and now when we click on this sign in so now you can able to see your student two data is successfully be founded okay so in this way you can see here when you flip your qr code is successfully generated as well so you can see here when you flip it again you can see the front of the image of your car okay so right now you can able to see in your data section in g column uh, you can add the profile picture of your student and in q code in, uh, in qr code url you can uh, make it empty because qr code is automatically generated and if you want to add your custom qr code so you can add here the url of that qr code okay so hope so you like this okay uh, the one thing you will concern about in the uh, comments after publishing this video i will clear that so you will be clear right now so uh, how to add the student image so your student image url will be added in the j column so how we can change this particular user so this for change this particular user when you open your sheet click on extensions and go to the app script so right now you will go to your index section and uh, go to your css part and uh, right now you can able to see the logo.bg uh, from here you can replace the url of the logo okay so when you add the url of the logo for example i just copy this url and uh, just paste it here and click on this save so when i click on this save right now i just refresh my web application so right now you can able to see my logo is successfully be changed so if i change my url to previous one and click on this save so now, right now when i refresh this web application now you can able to see my logo of this web application is easily changed 
So in that way, you can change the logo of your particular school, particular academy and particular university whenever and where you want to use this particular web app. So you like this video, share this video to your school fellows, school principals. Okay, so hope so you like this video. Make sure you subscribe our channel and thank you very much.